I got a whole story for y'all tonight. I don't understand how this woman keeps like trying to make me seem like I didn't try. Blueface is fuming after Wake 100 went public, snitched and aired all his and Krishan's business out and apparently, according to the insiders, he's asking him to mind his business, get a life and stop meddling about his and Krishan's life. Now, most of you who follow the Sorkias know that Blueface and Wake 100 have a more father-son relationship thicker than the one Blueface has with his own father, but it looks like Blueface is getting tired of him always making them his topic of discussions, which I believe he feels like he's using them for clout. But you know what doesn't surprise me? Blueface did the exact same thing recently with his mother, where he totally cut her off because she was being too much in his business, especially being too in the middle of his relationship with his baby mamas, and he completely cut her off. And Wake 100 is doing the same thing, and Blueface is sending warnings and it makes me wonder if Blueface may as well cut him off. But anyways, while we wait to see how their relationship will turn up in the coming days, let's first look at what Wake 100 had to say and also don't forget to subscribe on my channel to always get updates like this. So Wake 100 was just hosted by Vlad TV where he had a lot of tea to spill about Krishon and Blueface. First of all, he said that Blueface was recently caught with a substance that was first considered to be marijuana in his jail cell that could have had him stay in jail up to four years. He said that they raided the cell, they found the substance. Now, when we got the report, they said it's marijuana. I've never seen the substance, so when I go to court, maybe late April, the attorney says they're about to give him four years. He went on to say that in order to delay the sentencing, he told them to first test the product to see what it really is, and fortunately for them, the product turned out to be 0.3% less than marijuana, which immediately made it not eligible to be classified as marijuana, and basically that is how Blueface dodged the bullet. Yes. They were saying that Blueface was caught with the with drugs in jail so this is what it was they raided his cell they found what they thought to be marijuana i'd heard meth is that true no no okay meth. and meth is ass have another charge okay so um understand blueface's situation he's in there on a pro a partial probation violation now the guys is in there fighting the case if they would have found whatever this was in their cell, they'd have went to the whole two, three days, been back, that's it. He also explained why Blueface delayed to be released from jail, where he said that the whole drug issue and the fact that the judge on Blueface's case had surgery were the factors that pushed his hearing on July 26th, when he was initially supposed to be out in early July. He said that, so that's what pushed Blueface to July 26th. If we went in there the next day, he would have been home July 3rd, but I feel like the life I live, as much as I wanted him to come home July 3rd. He may not like this, but I think this extra 23 days might be saving him from something. Anyways, he went on and talked about Krishon as well and the baby, where for another time he said that Krishon being in jail was totally her mistake and the fact that I refused to listen to him and hear his advice. Telling her every time I get to the court, she have her phone mounted on live. I'm like, yo, rock. Why are you showing up to court and going lie? She thought, you don't want me here so you can paint the narrative, the blue face that I don't support him. Now, we, what it was, was... Basically, Wyke 100 says that Krishan was extremely careless and reckless when it came to her cases because she knew that she had several warrants out for her and still went live at different courthouses, knowing very well that the people who are looking for her could take her anytime, and that ended up being the reality because she was arrested at Blueface's court hearing. He also said that she always 
did that to show that she cared about Blueface more than Jaden did because he said that Jaden was at every single Blueface court hearing but never showed off and Krishan felt like she needed to show the whole world that she was supporting Blueface. And by the way, if you remember, when Krishan was arrested, Jaden was also present at the courthouse. So Wex said that Krishan had four warrants in Oklahoma Arizona, Baltimore, and LA, and added that I'm telling her every time I get to the court, she have her phone mounted all live. I'm like, yo, Rock, why are you showing up to court and going live? She thought, you don't want me here so you can paint the narrative to Blueface that I don't support him. Now, what it was was, Jaden is at every court appearance. Now, Jaden is being Jaden. She shows up, she has her baby with her, and she does what she's supposed to do. She's not loud with it. She's not on social media with it. So I think Rock in her head was like, on some, she's here, so I have to be here. He then went on and broke the bad news regarding her sentence, where he said that she will stay in LA for two months before she's transferred to Oklahoma to serve more time, which is unknown for now, or there is also a possibility that she might as well be house arrested in Oklahoma where she won't be allowed to leave the state. And that only means that Krishan is spending some long time behind the bars. And while it is really sad for her, it gets more sad when it comes to the fact that she has a young baby who needs his mother. Well, speaking of the baby, Y100 say that while Blueface's mother was not allowed to get his custody, his father also totally denied his custody, refusing to take on the responsibility of which Carlisa and Blueface's father got in fight for, asking him why he denied to take the baby when he always used him for clouds. He said that the father was with the baby every day all long, as long as Rock was turning on that life, giving him some clout. Soon as Rock left, he was like, I ain't taking the baby. That's why Carlisa was like, you've been over there clout chasing, take the baby. Anyways, most of you may already know that the baby ended up being taken by Krishan's friend Marsh. So that's pretty much what Y100 said overall. And I have to say that it is mess all over. First of all, with Blueface, I think it is very funny of how he could be in jail, literally fighting for his life and to get out and then engage with drugs, however much it wasn't strong enough to get him a charge. But still, I feel like it was some type of being not responsible. On the other hand, Krishan's situation is also worrying and like I said, I'm just more concerned about the baby who's going to grow up in this kind of mess that his parents are always involved in. But at the end of the day, I guess that's what it is to have Blueface and Krishan as your parents. One person said that poor kid, got born into the new Bobby and Whitney minus the talent. Otherwise, this will also heavily affect both their careers, but at least Blueface is getting out and I hope that he uses this time wisely, stay out of trouble, and probably love and support Krishan just as she supported him, because if he doesn't, I know it will crush Krishan's heart. Anyways, one fan commented saying that, Blue messed up his life when he got with Krishan. She's still in jail, shaking my head. Well, while I do believe that, I also believe that he was still in chaos even before they met. Another person said that WEC is 100% level-headed serious when parenthood is brought up. I respect it. I feel sorry for the baby boy. Both his parents is lost. So y'all, tell me what you think about this as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel so that you can get updates on all the tea and what's going on in the entertainment industry. Thank you for watching.